Debbie, I will say it's great to see you again. We talked at uh, Life of the Party. And Lucy actually came to visit us in Houston a couple of years ago for uh, Vampire Academy. So great to see yeah. you both. Yeah, yeah, great to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, you know, Lucy, here we are talking uh, vampires again. I'm starting to think that, uh, is it safe to say vampires do not scare you? Yeah, I guess that I'm getting used to them now, hey. <laughs> Should we be afraid of vampires? Are you afraid of vampires? I think that one of the touchstones of the human experience is this sort of the urgency of mortality. And I think when you take that away and there are no rules and people have sort of an, they don't play by the rules of the world. I think that is the scariest type of person. That's the thing to be afraid of is a person who is not in touch with humanity. And you know what? You can say that <laughs> not just about vampires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that about a lot of people in the world. I love that. Yeah. That's that's great. Hey, uh, Lucy, um, it seems like you all filmed at night. Obviously, vampires don't work in the, uh, the sun during the day. What was that like to film? Was was the majority of it done at night? Yeah, we filmed most of it at night. And it is really interesting when you go into that different rhythm of just waking all night and sleeping all day. You do start to feel a little bit kooky without the vitamin D and being in that normal rhythm. So I feel like it helped us to get into a slightly altered mindset. And also it, I think it was really a bonding experience for me and Debbie and George to, to be in that together and kind of stay in that state over the weekends and like, you know, making it through these nights and, and really supporting and uplifting each other on set. Like Debbie was so great at making everyone laugh while we were, you know, up at four in the morning. And um, yeah, it's definitely an altered way of being. Yeah. So you really actually do become vampires in this one. Debbie, you know, I want to, I want to ask about this. Um, for everybody that's watching this right now. Yeah. It's, it, there's the vampire theme, but you know what? Also there's romance, there's drama, action thriller. So everybody that's watching this, is it fair to say that it does have all of those components in this one? Absolutely. It's, you know, the stakes are sort of, they feel very real and they feel very grounded in timely, probably topical, um, issues. It's about connection. It's about our search for connection and for a partner and for someone to do life with. It's about the, the pressures of trying to elevate to the next level or to break out of a system that doesn't serve you or, um, or does serve you and how some people can feel very threatened when a system that has historically served them is challenged. And I think all these things are are uh, not agendaed. I think that they just come up and, and, you know, it's visually so fun and the sound design is incredible and it is, you know, it's thrilling. And at every turn, there's something sort of wildly saturated about it. And more than anything, I think it's, you know, it's a really fun, um, like moral conflict. It sort of is like, who are you rooting for? And is it a person who has done bad things? And is anyone completely bad and beyond repair? And is anyone completely good and in the right? And looking more at the impact of people's actions and looking at their hearts and their intentions and um, trying to create a better world according to the tools that you have. I love it. All right. Uh, got me ready for Halloween. So real quick in the time we have left, yes or no? Lucy, are you a fan of candy corn? Yes or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, by the way. No pressure. <laughs> Debbie, that's your answer. Debbie, fan of candy corn? Yes or no? I'm a fan of the first three bites of candy corn. Every year I think I'm a fan of candy corn and then I have three of them and I'm like, oh, this is disgusting. It's so American. <laughs> <laughs> it's so American. <laughs> that is the perfect way corn. to end this. <laughs> Listen, I miss you both and uh, please stay safe next time we're in person. Great work on this film. Totally got me in the spirit. Thanks so much. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.